All right, what's up, y'all? AJ Simmons checking in. Like my camera's a little blurry here, but basically, I'm about to cut y'all off on the camera anyway. But basically, look. So, had somebody comment on my video here, and if you can see my screen, y'all should be able to see my screen. Uh, it's basically talking about how I'm going to go in my kids' room so it can be quiet. All right. So basically, it's talking about how um, if you you know y'all would always teach y'all systems, right? And so I'm teaching in this video, uh, you know, the person that is the best at cleaning will always lose to the person who's best at business, all right? So, had somebody come up here and try to challenge me because I'm saying that if you clean all of your accounts, you know, you're not, you're basically not a business owner. You're self-employed, but you're not a business owner. So, Mr. Justice John 94 here decided that he wanted to challenge the information. And he says, this guy is a fool. So he says, I'm a fool. I should stop pushing the dumbass idea of laziness. The family-owned pizza shop where everyone in the family works is not a business, huh? The Chinese restaurant that only has family working there is not a business, huh? You will not escape hard work. Okay. Now, uh, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to dissect this. So basically... And you can see I kind of replied to him, asked, why would you follow me if I'm a fool? You know, I like I try not to take it serious when people try to uh, troll me. However, this guy wasn't trolling. He really thought he knew something. So uh, I went on to go ahead and try to educate him, but he still didn't get it. So I said, all right, fine, let me do this video. So first, I'm going to start with his first comment that he said, all right? Now, when it comes to this example that he gave for the family-owned pizza shop or family-owned Chinese restaurant, is that a business? Absolutely is a business when it comes to how the, the the they're taxed, right? Or when it comes to if you can walk into that as a company and buy some food. It's a business in that sense. But are they actually building a business? No. Okay. If that family is designed if that if that restaurant is is designed to run around just that family, like only those family members you know, only know how to run that business. They don't hire anybody else outside of that family. And then guess what? They are self-employed. They're not a business, all right? And let me explain. You ever notice how if, let's just say, you know, businesses that are set up like this, they don't last generation after generation after generation. They might last for one generation, then maybe two because the, the, the daddy might have taught the son or the mama might have taught the daughter how to run that. And that's about it. But they never expand to get chains like a McDonald's or a Walmart. They never expand. See, Walmart is a prime example of how to run a family business. Okay, Walmart is a family business. The Mars company that owns the M&M's and all of the, the candy company, that's how you run a family business, okay? And they're not even publicly traded. Multi-billion dollar company, Mars is. I looked them up. Based out of Virginia. Multi-billion dollar family. That's how you run a business. You don't run a family business by keeping it all to yourself and everybody report to work every day. That's ridiculous. And this guy is saying that I'm teaching laziness because the idea isn't you're supposed to hire other people to work for you. And basically, they do all the work and you don't do nothing. That's not laziness. That's that's business. That's capitalism, all right? As long as we live in a capitalistic society, this is how it works, all right? Now, is it lazy that you're hiring another person to clean so you can go get more business and then hire somebody else to clean so you can get more business? That's not lazy. That's smart. That's good business is what that is. That's creating opportunities. Now, if I had the mentality that this person had right here, and I thought that I'm supposed to go to work every day. And then if I want to help my brother out and I provide him with some buildings to clean, if I want to help my sister out about provide her with some buildings to clean, then we all clean until every person in the family is cleaning a building. That right there is you creating a job for not only yourself, but then for the rest of your family. And why would you create a job for them when you can create wealth for them? OK, a job is not wealth. OK, a job is not wealth. Having a career, because you're going to read down here in a minute that he mentioned a career. That's not wealth, okay? Wealth is an asset. Assets create wealth. What are assets? Anything that holds value and a, and a, uh, and a, a, active, a performing asset is something that pays you, okay? So a performing asset would be a company that you have on autopilot, that you have employees in place that pay you every, every 
you know, month or quarter, whatever the case. A performing asset would be stocks that you own that pay dividends. A performing asset would be rental properties, okay? Something that can pay you where you're not required to actually physically work. Now, does that make you lazy if you want to hire other people to do the physical labor for you? Absolutely not. Do you know how difficult it is to run a business? As a matter of fact, you're still going to be the hardest working person in the company, even if you never touch a broom in your cleaning business. Why? Because you still have to manage those employees and make sure they show up. You still have to stay in contact with the customers. You still have to set up the systems and learn how to train people and train people. And every single thing, the accounting, the taxes, you got to know every single thing about every single thing. And a lot of times, if those people call in, who you think got to go in when you first building it up? The owner does. The person that's running it. But you build in the business at the beginning. And as you grow, you put managers in place and you put another layer of management in place. And you put another layer until it just keeps going where everything is covered and you don't have to touch anything. Okay, but being the hardest working person in the business, which is this guy's claiming how it should be. If the owner is supposed to be the hardest working in the bu- working person in the business. Hardest working doesn't mean labor. Okay, work does not have to translate into labor. I work all day long and I don't do any type of physical labor. Okay, you can be sitting at a computer computer and knocking out some labor. I mean, excuse me, knocking out some work. Okay, so don't so don't confuse work. And labor, don't make them as intertwined, all right? Now, this guy goes on to say, uh, being a business owner himself, he uh, he knows that he has to work harder than anyone that works for him because he wants more. Okay, you want more what? (laughs) Because according to your logic, you're supposed to be the hardest working person in the company because you own the business. But for how long? Okay. If you start off being the hardest working person in the business, that makes sense because you're trying to do what? Like you said, you want more. But what is the more? What is the more? Because according to you, the more is more fucking work since you think that you're supposed to be the hardest working person. And since you think you're not supposed to put system in place and put other people to work. So what the hell is the more supposed to be? Okay. By according to your logic, there's nothing more to work towards if you're never supposed to stop working the hardest physically. Okay, so that don't make any sense, all right? So then, this guy goes on to say, uh, the family business you say is an example of how not to run a business. I didn't say a family business is an example of how not to run a business. I say the family business that requires every single family member to flip the pizza, to put the damn sauce on the pizza, to sell the pizza at the cash register, that's the wrong way to run a business. Now, if you want to do that in the beginning to get that first restaurant up and going or that first cleaning business up and going or that first lawn care service up and going or that first beauty salon up and going. Yes, that's how you can do it and put your family members in place. But you guys need to be training other people to come and work in the company as you rise up in upper management and higher level tasks in the company. Okay, so you can start opening restaurant number two. Restaurant number three, location number four. How selfish was it, would it be for you to think that, oh, I'm just going to open this one business and I'm going to keep it here and I'm going to do all the work and then I'm going to get my cousins and we're going to do all the work and we all eat. Yeah, y'all all slaves to the damn company too because you can't leave. That's selfish to stay small. It's selfish to stay small. Listen to me. You think it's selfish to think that I'm supposed to hire somebody to clean a building. No, it's providing an opportunity to them. People want jobs, right? How the hell you think people get jobs? If Sam Walton thought like you, there would be no fucking Walmart for people to work at. Now he employs hundreds of thousands of people all across the damn world because he knows that if he's in that motherfucker ringing up groceries and he got his un in there uh, uh, bagging the damn groceries and walking people to the car, then he got his cousin in there stocking the damn products on the shelf, then guess what? He can't provide opportunities to nobody else in the world because he only trying to look out for his family and keep them fucking enslaved to the damn company. No, you train somebody else at the, at, to be in the damn position, let them work the position, and that's how you provide opportunities to provide jobs. Now, if that person, that individual that you hired, wants to go start their own company, they can take the experience from the, from that they got from working at your company and go take a risk and try their own. Most people don't want to take a risk and try on their own, though. That's why they continue to be employees, and there's nothing wrong with being employees. But if you're going to be a business owner, you 
just as John 94 need to change your mindset. All right. You need to change your mindset because you ain't going to never get there. You, you say you want more, but then how are you going to call me a fool when I teach you how to get more? You think that you and five other of your family members going to clean? Like how big you think you're going to get with your cleaning company? What's the most amount of buildings you can clean by yourself? Think about that. What is the most amount of buildings you can clean by yourself? Okay. Name every family member that you have that you'd be willing to hire. What's the most amount of buildings y'all can clean by yourself? At some point, I don't give a fuck how big your family is. At some point, if you all are cleaning, you're going to cap out. You cannot clean every fucking thing by yourself and think you're going to grow and get rich. You're not. You're not. You're never going to get rich, okay? Let me put that in your fucking head. You would never get rich if you're going to do all the work yourself. That's not smart business. That's stupidity. No, that's not stupidity. That's, that's being misinformed, and now I'm informing you, okay? But, again, if you are feeling disrespected, I'm not trying to intentionally disrespect you. However, you did call me a fool, so I really don't give a fuck if you disrespected or not. However, obviously I care because I'm taking the time out of my damn day to teach you. I didn't have to teach you this shit. It took, I've been doing business since I was 19 years old. I'm 31, all right? It took me over 10 years to get this internally in my brain, and as soon as I figured it out, I spread it out to the word and I'm teaching. Then you want to hop on my shit and try to tell me what the fuck, <laughs> let me how I'm supposed, like how it's supposed to go just because you say, or oh, you run a business. I guarantee, with all due respect, I want to say this as respectfully as possible. Just because you went and got a little LLC and you all run, you've been in the business one, two, three, you know what I mean? A couple years. That don't, that tr that does not mean that we are equal. Okay. And I don't want to toot my own horn and make something like I'm just so high. And I'm no, but I'm going to tell you something that I learned. All right. One thing I learned is when somebody is doing business and they're doing it bigger than you, when you see what they're doing and it's different than what you're doing or different than what you believe it should go, instead of just jumping to a conclusion and say, no, nah, y'all need to do it like this. You should probably shut the fuck up and, and see why they're doing it the way that they're doing it, because they just might know more than you. OK, they just might. If you see there's another cleaning company down the street, they got a brick and mortar office, they millions of dollars in revenue and they doing great. And your ass still out in the field and you got to clean. You probably should shut the fuck up and see what the hell they doing over there. OK, when you see that and you maybe you don't know all of this about me, but when you see that I could run a motherfucking company four states away and not lose no account. You probably should shut the fuck up and see what the hell I got to say. When you see that I can sell my cleaning company, start a whole new company, and <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to talk numbers, but when you can hire 11 employees over, actually I got more than 11 employees, but you can hire this many employees in nine months from opening a brand new fucking business. And I got people working for me overseas. You probably should shut the fuck up and see what you can learn. Before you just hop on stuff and start talking, 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 and you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That's why. Okay. 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 Let's not make it a personal thing here. Look, look, listen to me. This is how business works. Okay. This is how business works. If you ever had a job or if you got a job right now, how do you think they can afford to pay you? It's because they're charging the customer more. That's not selfish. It's not lazy. It's business. It's capitalism. That's how the fuck it's supposed to work. Otherwise, there would need be no incentive of hiring your ass. That's how it works. Now, eventually, because a lot of people are waking up, it might go back to the way that it was before, which I wouldn't mind at all, which is if you don't work, you don't eat. That's how it originally was. And then somebody got smart and we got into capitalism. They said, well, fuck it. I tell you what, how about I'll, I'll provide you these benefits and you come work for me and I'll make sure you eat. Then it came with pension plans and all of this stuff. And then that's where jobs got created. And then somebody was smart enough to say, hell, you, I'll charge a customer 20, pay you 10. I'll keep 10. But you know what I mean? You, you happy with 10, right? $10 an hour sound good to you, right? Good. I like it too. 
because you ain't smart enough to go find a customer. You're not smart enough to know how to bid on a customer. You're not smart enough to know how to sell yourself and speak properly and close a deal. So fine, I'll handle that part. I'll handle the invoice and all that shit you don't know how to do. You do know how to clean, right? I can teach you how to clean. Yeah, you go clean, take this $10 an hour, and then I'll stay over here and do all the, the stuff that you don't know how to do or don't care to do, and I'll keep my little $10 an hour doing this. And it's not really passively just you getting it without doing the physical labor while the other person is. Okay? And that's just business. You want to think it's wrong? Well, fine. Keep thinking it's wrong, and then you're just going to be like the rest of the people who typically, you know, most people, a lot of poor people are miserable. And they hate rich people. Why do they hate rich people? Because they haven't figured it out. They think all rich people are evil and all rich people are bad. Meanwhile, the rich people are the ones who provide them with the damn job that they go to every day. And I'm not saying all rich people are great and angels either. But my point is a lot of times people are misinformed and you blaming the wrong person when you should be blaming your fucking self. Why don't you ask yourself or ask the person... Okay, well, what are you doing to be rich? Instead of just getting mad because somebody got something that your ass ain't got. Why don't you go ask them for the knowledge to see how they did it? As long as we in a capitalist society, this is how it works, okay? Now, if they change it, then you learn the new rules of the new shit, and then you adjust to that to see what's the best way to live within that damn society. But this is how it works. You're never going to get rich. I'm telling you, you ain't getting rich cleaning all these goddamn buildings yourself. You're not. That's called smart. Expect, I could see if I said, not like it's one. It's a difference between exploiting somebody, and providing an opportunity. If you get a building, and then this is the thing too with this, what I'm teaching y'all. If you get, let's just say you big, because I'm keeping the math, I'm keeping the numbers, uh, trying to keep them like uh, even numbers, so I can for easy math purposes. All right. If you charge a customer a hundred dollars for a job. And if you pay somebody $60 out of that 100 and you keep the $40 passive, they getting 60% of the goddamn money anyway. As a matter of fact, in almost every contract I've ever had in cleaning, the person that I paid made more than I did from the fucking contract. So how, like, what, like, how was that wrong? They making more than me and I'm the one who owned the fucking business. I'm the one who paid for all the equipment. I'm the one who made the investment to start the fucking company. I'm the one who paid for the marketing. I'm the one who taking a risk and if the shit go wrong, I'm homeless. The employee got the protection. They're the one that can go get fucking uh, uh, unemployment and all of that if something go wrong. The owner takes all of the risk. You got damn right that they should get the biggest reward and pay out if they can fight through or make it up there. Because if I get one contract, I lose. My employee making more than me. But if I go do that shit a hundred more times and just take $40 out of that a hundred, a hundred more times. Okay. Now I'm killing it because guess what? That first employee that I hired can work maybe what? 10 more buildings for me. And then they tapped out. So now I got to get a second employee. He can work 10 more buildings for me. Then he tapped out and they can get it and tapped out. And all of these people going to make good money cleaning themselves. Right? Cause I, I believe in paying good. That's why they getting 60%. I'm getting 40%. Right? But the difference is I can keep going to affinity buildings. I can get an infinite, infinite amount of buildings because I'm not the one that's cleaning. I can get an infinite amount of buildings because I'm not the one that's cleaning. But that person that I hire can go up to a certain limit and then they typed out. And that's fine because guess what? Since I'm paying them well, guess what they can do? They can go buy a house. They can go buy a car. They can send their kids to a nice school. They can live in a good neighborhood. They can, you know what I mean? Have, have, live the nice, perfect uh, American dream life, right? While me, I want something more. I want to create opportunities for people. I want to build wealth that I can pass on. Most people ain't striving for that. Most people think about their motherfucking self. And that's why they can't grasp these concepts. Because we grow up thinking that rich people is the ones that are selfish. And when actuality, most of the poor people are the ones that are selfish. And that's why they stuck being there. See, if I was selfish, I wouldn't say a motherfucking thing. I would just keep learning all of this shit and keep it to my goddamn self. I would use my lead generation service. I wouldn't sell the goddamn lead generation. I don't know if y'all know. I ain't going to say too much. But I wouldn't even 
use that and sell that as a service, I could keep that shit in the house and run my cleaning company to the motherfucking top. I ain't got to tell nobody about how that works. I don't have to share that information. I shouldn't share. I, sh- I don't have to share nothing. And there's people like you sometimes that make me think that maybe I shouldn't. Just fuck it. Since y'all, fuck it, you're ungrateful, you don't want it, fuck it. Then I keep it for myself. And then as soon as somebody get rich and leave you and you stuck and you broke, then y'all want to point at the motherfucker that made it when they, they write books every day and tell you what they did. It's YouTube videos out there. They do interviews with people every day and tell you what they did. But instead of being grateful for the, the breadcrumbs that people drop and the, and, and the clues that people leave on their road to success, instead of being grateful for that and going eating those up and soaking that game up, instead you want to cry about, oh, they don't never get back to the hood. They don't never donate. They ain't never gave me nothing. Why the fuck should another grown person give another grown person something? They don't have to give you shit. They don't owe you shit. Change your mind state if you think you're going to get somewhere. Period. Change your mindset. You cannot do it by yourself. And you cannot do it thinking that you're going to be in it. You can't be in the team. You cannot be a part of the fucking physical labor and think you're going to run the business. You can't. Because you're supposed to be the CEO. You have to run the company. Work. You got to work on the company, not in the damn company. Build the fucking company. If you want to have a big, a corporation, if you really think you want to get rich, if you really want to build wealth, you want to pass something on to your kids, build a company, not no fucking self-employed job. Because if you run your motherfucking cleaning business like you, this little pizza shop you talking about, then guess what you passing on to your son? A job. You pass them on a job that's worse than a job that they will work for somebody else. Because at least if they work for somebody else, they won't be taxed so goddamn high. When you self-employed, you get taxed more than anybody else because of uh, self-employment taxes. But when you're an employee, you don't pay self-employment taxes. You just pay the regular goddamn on um, the Medicare and the Social Security and then the, the job has to pay the other half. They got to match what the taxes that you pay. So they pay that other half for you when you got, when you're an employee, when you're self-employed, you play on both, you pay on both sides. You pay at a higher rate. That's why you got to educate yourself and don't just jump on some shit. See, and I think that's another thing too. I think people look at me and then they underestimate me and think I'm just another mother, another, another motherfucker on this shit. Just talking. No, I've been doing this shit. I live in books. I live in YouTube videos. I live in podcasts. I've been doing this shit since I was nine fucking teen. Doing it. Not studying. I was studying it before then. But I've been actually doing business since I was 19 before any of this social media shit. Before it was cool to say you was an entrepreneur. Don't think you just opened it because you opened up your little damn LLC the other day. That you bought the, you know what I mean? Did you know something? Be quiet and keep learning. And I'm only snapping on who is it? Justice John 94 like this. I'm only doing this because you called me a fool. So now I got to do that. If you would have came respectfully like you did at the rest of the goddamn comments you did, it wouldn't have been like this. But you start off calling me a fool. I guess you didn't know that the person, the video that I posted was me because you just see the page is Clean Business Network page. You probably didn't know that I was the fucking owner of the shit. You thinking that this is a page just sharing some random motherfucker talk. No, you got to know what the fuck you talking about first. Talk about laziness. Dog, you, if you think it's lazy to build a fucking corporation and lead people, then you got another thing coming. Ain't nothing lazy about building a business and hiring strangers that you don't know and that don't know you and don't know if they can trust you or not, that you got to leave keys with to damn buildings and security codes. There's nothing lazy about that. Nothing lazy about managing books and, and keeping payroll and shit together. I mean, it take a lot more than fucking laziness to build this shit. Even the people like Elon Musk and, 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 and Bill Gates and all these people who take their companies public and go get funded. They don't necessarily always have to work in the trenches from the beginning. Even they can't be lazy. It's too much responsibility. There's always some shit that need to be done. And if you don't change your mindset, you'll never know that because you'll never work your way up. You got to change your mindset. 
You keep thinking that you helping people by putting their ass in a position to just do labor. You ain't helping nothing. You're not helping anything. You can put them in a position to have a job at your company. If you want your family, you want to help your family, get them a job. Go ahead. You can get them a job if they, if not me, and let them keep it if they deserve it. But while they there, your ass better be giving them some real game. Because that's what I did. I don't just, I ain't just put my brother and have him work for me. That ain't helping him. Helping him is when I teach him, now this is what I'm doing. This is how much of the account, the contract paid. Now, you get this amount. You getting this sixty dollars for this contract and pay us a hundred. I'm getting this forty dollars right here. On on the surface, it's like you doing all the work. You don't want going out there cleaning every day, and I'm over here and I'm getting this forty dollars and it's like it's passive. But actually, I'm the one who paid for that motherfucking equipment that you're using in there every day. I'm the one who went and bid on this contract. I'm the one who educated myself on how to get the fucking contract. I'm the one who got to keep dealing with these worrisome ass customers that complain about every little fucking thing. I'm the one who invested my money to start this shit. And if we lose the contract tomorrow, I'm the one who got to replace it again and find another goddamn contract for you to work again. So if I'm taking all the goddamn risk, you goddamn right, I'm supposed to be getting all of the goddamn reward. And the bigger you get as a business owner building it this way, the lower the percentage that you're going to get as a payout. But it's still worth it. And people so damn ungrateful. But anyway, <laughs> that's enough of my rant. A lot of y'all probably don't like my ass after this one because I done said a little bit more truth than I usually typically share. And I took a little bit more to filter off. But hopefully this video was able to help somebody and touch somebody in the right way. I'm telling you, you business, you cannot be political with business. You can't be political. You can have a conscience, and I have a conscience. But you cannot be political and you can't, there's a lot of shit you're going to have to let go that you was taught before that don't align with the way that business, successful business works. And you're going to have to let that shit go because you got to be able to have sense enough to know, okay, who did I learn that from? Was this person in a position that I want to be in? No. So throw that shit out and let me apply this new information. That's all I got. <laughs> That's all I got for y'all, man. I probably was so busy fussing, I ain't even really drive it home like I wanted to on the point. The point is, you cannot. You can have a family business all you want to. I love family business. Family business is great. But a family business is not everybody coming to work every day doing labor. A family business is you put them in position first, everybody can learn their job, and then you work your way up. Hopefully one member can run the next restaurant at that location. That one family member that was doing the dishes, they can go run that next uh, restaurant at the other location and so on and so on and so on. And y'all level up and y'all got equity and y'all get dividends at, no, man, at some point, not just payroll checks no more. That's how you build a fucking family business. Not going to fucking work flipping pizza every goddamn day. That's a job. Won't nobody born, don't nobody want to wake up and do that shit for the rest of their life? Not no entrepreneur. I'm talking specifically to entrepreneurs. Everybody not built for this. If you ain't built for this and this ain't what you agree with, ain't talking to you. This ain't for you. If you want to be on, if you got other thoughts, go listen to some other people, these finance gurus and shit. You know what I mean? Listen to those people and, and get you a nice, safe, secure government job. Put your money in the motherfucking third savings plan or 401k or some shit. And pray for the Lord that the damn stocks don't crash right when you're ready to retire. And, and do those old rules of mine. I'm talking to entrepreneurs. We cannot think the same. We got to think bigger. We're going to always be misunderstood. It's going to always be our fault. People are going to always think we're wrong. They're going to always think we're selfish. They're going to always underestimate the time, the sacrifice, the effort that we're putting into it. But that's just how I got to go. And you creating the opportunity for everybody around you. And making their life better whether they can understand the concept or not. But you can't do that if you out that shit fucking working. Somebody said, if you want to stop getting $10 an hour, stop doing $10 an hour jobs. Stop doing lower level shit thinking that you're going to get rich. You ain't. You cannot. I'm telling you right now. Can you get rich cleaning toilets? No. You cannot get rich cleaning up. You can't. 
but you can get rich with a cleaning company if you build it. All you got to do is build it. All you got to do is build it. Excuse me. That's it. Thank y'all for listening. Watch, subscribe. And if you want to build your goddamn cleaning company, you ready to get rich. If you want to get rich and build a company the right way and you want me to teach you my tactics and you want to learn from me and get my mentorship, cleanbiznetwork.com. You can get your cleaning business starter kit. You can get the cleaning business starter kit course by itself. Or you can, if you're already in business, you can buy leads from our lead generation service. That's what I got for y'all. AJ Simmons, I'm gone.